Good morning and welcome to day two of the Main Ring programme at Crufts 2024. Today we start with part one of the most important and prestigious global finals, the Joe Cartledge International Junior Handling Competition. This year we have 36 finalists from all corners of the world. We have three more than last year. All junior handling champions are in their own countries and we can't wait to see these young handlers showcase their natural handling ability in this fantastic main ring setting. Before we meet each finalist and begin part one, it gives me enormous pleasure to introduce into the ring the organizer and brainchild behind this historic competition, Mrs. Liz Cartledge, and she is escorting our judge, Aroni Dudines, into the ring from the Netherlands. Now, Roni has been involved in the dog world for 40 years and started competing as a junior handler himself with his Finnish Spitz. He awards CCs in 46 breeds in the UK, but is well known as an FCI all-round qualified judge too, and has judged at some of the world's biggest shows, such as the World Dog Show and European Dog Shows. He's used to organizing dog shows with his role as CEO at the Dutch Kennel Club and is also spotted regularly commentating and presenting in the main arena. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, put your hands together for our judge, Rooney Dudines. So let's meet this year's finalists in order of the countries they represent, starting with, from Australia, Diana Mussolino. From Belgium, Laura Duvos. Representing Bulgaria, Samuel Bonin. And all the way from Canada, Laurence Giga. <laughs> Representing the Czech Republic, Sara Malinova. <laughs> Representing Denmark, Sarah De Angelis. Coming from Estonia, it's Gerda Wunsch. Representing Finland, Jonas. Sotala. The competitor from France is Sarah Duchelieu. And coming from Germany, we have Alexandra Yunov. <laughs> Representing Greece, this is Effie Sezenia. <laughs> Representing Hungary, Greta Straub. Representing Iceland, Freya Rumen Stotia. Coming from 
Ireland. This is Molly Mullen. <laughs> Representing Israel, Liri Sokolovsky. And now representing Italy, it's Cecilia De Bella. And in the red, we've got from Japan, this is Yuha Tamura. And now representing Latvia, Alice. Sameta. Representing Lithuania, Dia Maxima Vichuta. Representing Malta, Mariah Manicado. Representing Monaco, Nicole Zaza. <laughs> Representing the Netherlands, Soleil Halkeshoven. <laughs> and coming from all the way from New Zealand, Jacob Ashwell. Representing Norway, Mimi Indina Nielsen. And representing Poland, Zosia Raboy. Coming from Portugal, we have Maria Flores Ribeiro. Representing Romania, this is Alexandra Ambrush. And representing Slovakia, Daniela Nematova. Representing Slovenia, Nikita Rehak Frisch. All the way from South Africa, we welcome back Anita Schumann. <laughs> Representing Spain, this is Adriana Sanchez Natividad. Coming from Sweden, this is Nelly Podlingski. And coming from Switzerland, our youngest competitor, Nora Sorta. Representative from Ukraine, Katerina Velichenko. <laughs> Representing the United Kingdom, it's Paige Hughes. <laughs> and our last competitor is representing the USA. Octavia Stenson. <laughs> so
So what a fantastic line up of young handlers we have here. Now, while our judge has taken his first look at these finalists, I'd like to take this opportunity to explain a little more about this competition. Junior handling is a competition for young handlers up to the age of 18 years of age. Unlike the rest of crafts, where the judge is assessing each dog in the breed competition against its conformation and movement to a kennel club breed standard, the nature of this competition is slightly different. The purpose of this sport is to judge the handler's presentation and connection with their dog and abilities to cope in a show-like situation. The judge is assessing the handler and not the dog. He will be looking for the handler that gets the best out of the dog's performance, attempting to minimize the dog's faults and highlighting its best features ensuring the dog is gated at the correct speed for its breed and standing the dog in a way that suits the breed of dog. Now what is even more impressive is that these young handlers are all performing with dogs they met just one hour ago. So to keep it fair, they're all in the same situation, a new dog, a large ring, and a big stage to perform. On behalf of Liz and the rest of the organizers, I would like to personally say a huge thank you to the owners of these extremely well-trained and well-tempered dogs to lend them for the final today. Please give our dog lenders a massive round of applause. So that leads us nicely into meeting each and every competitor. This is Diana Mussolino from Australia. She's 17, and this is her first time competing here at Crufts in this final. At home, she lives with two Shetland sheepdogs, and she started showing dogs at the age of three. And she started going into the all-breed ring when she was seven years old and started her junior handling career. She says she's always had a deep love for dogs and showing dogs has become a major part of her life and she loves every minute of it. As well as the experiences that she's accounted along her journey and she says she's made lifelong friendships. She's recently graduated from year 12 and will be going on with further studies in business and accounting. And when she's not showing her dogs, she loves to spend time with her family and friends, as well as doing some cooking. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's Diana Mussolino from Australia. So here's the representative from Belgium. This is Laura De Vos, and she's 14 years old. She's chosen to handle a standard poodle today, but at home she has three golden retrievers. She started showing and handling dogs only just two years ago because her mother was showing her own dog and she wanted to participate with her, her Australian Shepherd from friends at the junior handling competitions. So she loved it so much, it became her new passion, and she qualified for the final today. She's at high school in her third secondary school, and she's doing Latin and maths. Her favorite subject is biology. She wants to be a vet when she grows up. So our judge, Roni Dudines from the Netherlands, in my introduction, I explained he was a junior handler himself. And he's asking the junior handlers to do a triangle. So you can see all three sides of 
the Handlers movement. So ladies and gentlemen, that's Laura De Vos from Belgium. Now we come to Samuel Bonin. He's represented Bulgaria. So he's 14. And he's one of only three male handlers that we have in this competition this year. He's handling a Grand de Basset Griffon Vendillon. And he says he's really, really proud to be here. He's made it into the final before, and he came to the, he went to the split summer night dog shows in 2021, and reached the final of the junior handling contest there. He has two dogs at home, an English Cocker Spaniels, And since the age of 11, he's been attending the Young Dog Handlers Club in Sofia, where he trains every week. He also competes in canny cross as well. And at home, he also has a cat, six parrots, and a hamster. He's been playing the piano for eight years and he's also a competitor at a basketball club. Ladies and gentlemen, Samuel Bonin representing Bulgaria. So this is now Canada. This is Laurence Gigard. And she's 18. She's chosen to handle a Portuguese water dog. At home, she has four clumber spaniels. She's been showing for over 10 years and started handling dogs because she saw a junior handling competition and competed the next day and fell in love with the hobby. She's in her last year of college. Her favorite subject is maths, because she says it makes her work a lot. She loves solving maths problems. And she also loves history. She loves learning about Canadian and other countries' pasts. She wants to be a lawyer when she grows up. So that's the representative from Canada, Laurence Giga. So now we have the representative from the Czech Republic. This is 15-year-old Sara Malinova. Sarah has four dogs at home, one medium silver poodle, uh, two toy poodles, and an English Springer. She's handling an English Springer Spaniel here today. We're very thankful to our dog lenders. This particular owner has brought four Springers today. I'm very lucky to have great supporters of this competition. She started to show her dogs at the age of 10 at club shows and junior handling and gradually started to go into breed judging. She says she loves having a special relationship with dogs. And she says every dog is a challenge and an experience that you can't refuse. And she says every dog is different and she likes to look for their sense and feel in each dog. At home, she does do agility with all her dogs and dog dancing or hoopers and canny cross. And she's also training her springers for field trials and she loves that too.
She's in elementary school in the Czech Republic and in ninth grade. Her favorite school subjects is the Czech language, projects and biology. That's Sara Malinová from the Czech Republic. And now here is Denmark. This is Sarah De Angelis. It's Sarah's birthday today. She's 18 today. She's representing Denmark. And this is her second time in the final. She was here last year and she handled a Pasenji. This year she's chosen to handle a pointer. At home, she has Pasenjis and Beagles. She's been showing dogs for eight years and was inspired by her older sister, Maya, who has also been her mentor throughout the junior handling years. So she's equivalent to year 11 in high school at the moment and her main courses are biology and chemistry and her favorite subject is English and she'd also like to become a vet when she's older. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Sara De Angelis from Denmark. And here we have on the table the miniature schnauzer are being shown by Gerda Runch. She's representing Estonia. She's 17. She has two dogs at home, an Alaskan Malamute and a Swedish Valand. But one of her choices to handle today was a miniature schnauzer. She's also handled miniature schnauzers in her home country. And little by little, as she was growing up, she started to expand her knowledge of other dog breeds. She's got a cat at home, and she's studying in high school in the 10th grade. She loves studying languages, especially Estonian and Spanish. and also enjoys history, literature, and biology. So it says here that she's also inter interested in producing and production. We'd love to do that in the future. Perhaps we could have her some work experience here at Crafts next year, work in the main arena. She says that she'd love to be involved in the show world as per part of her life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Gerda Frinch representing Estonia. So in front of the table now, we have Jonas Sotala. This uh, is he, he's representing Finland, and he's handling this Australian shepherd. At home, he has one miniature bull terrier and one American Staffordshire terrier. This is his first time in the final. Uh, he's chosen to handle an Australian Shepherd. This one's called Basil. I think he's got girls on the brain. The dog, I mean. <laughs> and uh, so Jonas's favorite subjects at school are physical education, 
woodworking and history. When he grows up, he says he'd like to be an entrepreneur in the trade industry. Jonas in his free time, he loves to play football and go to the gym. Representing Finland, that's Jonas Sotala. I think Roni is really spoilt for choice this year. It would be incredibly difficult to separate all these handlers. Everyone's doing such a fine job. Now on the table we have our representative from France. This is Sarah Duchelieu. So this is her second time in the final. She actually made it into this final six years ago in 2018 and she actually represented Monaco. She doesn't have a dog directly at home, but her grandparents have Shetland Sheepdogs, and that's why she's chosen a Shetland Sheepdog here today. And I don't believe that we've had many Shetland Sheepdogs uh, chosen for use in these finals. We get lots of popular breeds, like Pointers and Australian Shepherds, but it's lovely to see such a beautiful Sheltie here today, so thank you to our dog lenders. So she does agility at home as well. She's got a cat and a horse, and she's been riding as well since she was little. Sarah's favorite subject is maths. And she'd like to open an owner's equestrian center when she's older. And she also likes to go out walking in the mountains around where she lives. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Sarah Duchelieu representing France. Is the ever wagging tail of the Labrador Retriever. So, handling this dog is Alexandra Yunov from Germany. She's 18. She's got two Labradors at home. So she'll feel really quite happy with this happy chappy that she's been lent today. At the age of 11, she started to show dogs. And she really liked to spend time training dogs. And she wanted to learn how to, it says here, expose her dog, but I know what she means. She means just learn how to train dogs and learn more about them. So she's two years into her apprenticeship for her training as a draftsman specializing in architecture. Maths and physics were her favorite subjects. And she says she can solve equations calculate the strength and weight of certain objects. That'll certainly come in handy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Alexandra Yunov from Germany. So representing Greece, this is Effie Sezenia. She's 15 and is showing a Border Collie. So her parents are breeders of boxers and at the moment they've got five boxers in their house. And dog handling's been a part of her life since 2017. And she says, ever since she participated in dog shows, it's just become a love and interest that she intends to foster. 
She trains dogs and has the opportunity to participate in seminars and talk with experts regarding dog handling and grooming. Her favorite subjects in school are maths and physics. And when she grows up, she, because of her love saw for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, so STEM, she wants to be a mechanical engineer. So that's Effie Cizenia with the Border Collie representing Greece. So back on the table now, we have Greta Straub. She's representing Hungary, and she is 16 years old. She has two miniature schnauzers at home, and she's chosen to handle one here today. Remember, for those of you who have just joined us or are watching live at home, all these handlers only met these dogs at half past seven this morning. They don't live with these dogs, they don't know these dogs, and they're now handling them at the greatest dog show in the world in the main arena at Crufts. They've had to build a bond with their dog. So she's been handling for four years, and she also takes part in rally and obedience. She's in year 10 at high school and enjoys history and Hungarian literature because she likes learning about the past and reading poems. Her main aim is she'd like to be an attorney. Besides showing dogs, she likes hiking and walking but of course, only when she's doing that with her dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Hungary, Greta Straub. So on the table now, we have the representative from Iceland. This is Freya Grumenstotja. Freya is 17. And this is her first time in the International Junior Handling Final at Crufts. At home, she has one Bichon Frise with her family. Freya started showing dogs when she was nine years old. She's very lucky to have had the opportunity to be around dogs all of her life. Her grandparents breed Tibetan Spaniels and she chose one to use today in this final. She loves horses and going horseback riding and she's in her second year of college with biology being her favorite subject. Her dream is to work with animals in the future. And she says she loves working out, hiking, and also spending time with her friends. And she's got lots of lovely support today. That's Freya Grumenstotje from Iceland. So the representative from Ireland is Molly Mullen. 
She's 14 years old and she's handling a Bracco Italiano. At home in Ireland, Molly lives with seven Cocker Spaniels. And she started handling around five years old at local agricultural shows. And she said she soon got a passion for it. She's loved dogs all of her life. And she started competing professionally about five years ago. And she says she just fell in love with dog showing. She loves to do agility at home with her Cocker Spaniels. And she also has two cats. She's in year 10 at secondary school. And her favorite subjects are technology and art. Because she says she loves to create things. She loves to play Gaelic and ride horses in her spare time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Molly Mullen representing Ireland. Now coming from Israel. This is the representative and it's Liri Sokolovsky. She's 15 and this is her first time in the final. And she chose and she asked or requested for a standard poodle to compete in the competition today. But at home, she has 15 dogs. She has Labradors, Welsh Corgis, Pembrokes and a Jack Russell. She's been showing for about 10 years. And she started showing because her mother was showing them and she wanted to. She's also taken part in agility as well. And she's in 10th grade of high school. Her favorite subjects are biology and history, which she says both are very interesting to her. And she wants to be a vet. She loves to bake. She also loves to spend time with her friends and family and of course walk or play with her dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the representative from Israel, Liri Sokolovsky. When you gotta go, you gotta go. So, on to our next representative. This is Cecilia De Bella. And she's representing Italy, and she's 16. She's decided to not handle an Italian breed, but a Spanish breed. This is the Spanish water dog. Because she has two Spanish water dogs at home as well. She started showing dogs in 2019 because her dad, who had already shown his boxes, decided to enroll her Spanish water dog to a show. So she said she'd like to thank her dad who opened up a new world to her. I know the feeling. So she trains her dogs at home with her dad and she also learns obedience. She also has a black cat, a Maine Coon breed called Silvestro. She's in the second year of grammar school. 
and a favourite subject is definitely ancient Greek because she says it opens her mind and even relaxes her. And another subject she loves is Italian. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Cecilia De Bella from Italy. Representing Japan is 15-year-old Yuha Tamura. She has three dogs at home, a standard poodle, a miniature poodle, and a toy poodle. And today, she was given a standard poodle as one of her choices. When she started handling, she was in the fourth grade, and she said she got into it because she watched her cousin handle dogs. Her favorite school subject is PE. She says she loves to exercise. And I'm sure she'll need that when she runs around the ring with this lovely poodle. She says she wants to obtain the handling license and grooming license to become a professional and continue to participate actively in the dog shows. It's brilliant to see that a lot of these dogs are having so much fun in this ring because these handlers are performing so, so well with them. So, well done to all of these handlers who are doing a fantastic job. Representing Japan, that's Yuha Tamura. Now on the table, representing Latvia, it's Alice Sumeta. She's 15 years old, and this is her first time in the International Junior Handling Final. At home, she has two Basenjis. She said about eight years ago, her first Basenji was brought into their family. And eventually, she said it was her inner passion for dogs and connection to this first Basenji called Panda that made her realize that she wanted to start attending classes for juniors. She does uh, compete with agility and also started attending nose work classes with her dogs. I'm sure nose work, it's written here as nose work, but I'm sure she means scent work. It's probably a translation. <laughs> And she's in middle school in the eighth grade. She says she's really passionate about traveling. Well, that does bode well if you get involved in dog showing. And she loves doing sports such as ice skating, skiing, snowboarding, and swimming. Representing Latvia, Alice Simeta. So we're just over halfway now. We're on handler number 19 of 36. So this is now Dia Maxima V. Tutor. She's from Lithuania and she's 16. She's handing a Portuguese water dog today. This is her second time in the final. She competed in the year 2020 when she was 12 years old. At home, she has four dogs. She's got three Spanish water dogs and a miniature schnauzer. She's been showing dogs 
since she was eight years old. She said her mum was a breeder and was always involved in dog showing. So at one of the shows, her and her sister noticed junior handling competitions and they decided they'd like to try it. And they've been doing it ever since. So at home, she also has a Canadian Sphinx. I think that's a cat. <laughs> and she enjoys taking walks with her dogs, enjoys swimming and teaching them new skills. She's currently in 10th grade at Catholic school. And her favorite subject is biology and maths. And she's interested in becoming a lawyer. <laughs> Representing Lithuania, Dia Maxima Vichuta. And now we have the representative from Malta. This is Mariah Manicaro. She's 18 years old. And we saw Mariah here in this international final last year. She's back this year, this time handling a Border Collie. We've got three Border Collies competing in this final this year. And at home, Mariah has around 15 dogs. She has Beagles, Basenjis, Border Collies, and Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. So she'll feel right at home with this one. I think this one's called Stan. I'm really grateful to all of our dog lenders. So she started showing dogs at the age of 12 has been involved in the dog scene since she was 10 years old. She lives on a farm with her family, and also they have sheep, goats, llamas, and ponies. And Mariah's brother and her compete in local sheep shows as well. She's in her final year of post-secondary school, and then she'll be off to university. So representing Malta, that's Mariah Manicaro. So here we have the representative from Monaco. This is Nicole Zaza, and she's 17 years old. This is her first time in the final, and she's decided to handle an Australian Shepherd. I think this one's called Mango. So at home, she has one dog, an English Cocker Spaniel. She's been showing dogs for 10 years, and her first breed was the Pyrenean Mastiff. She's a high school student of human sciences. She's in her fourth year. And her favorite subject is English. Because she says it's a language that fascinates her a lot. For now, she's still not sure what to do when she grows up, but was thinking of enrolling in Criminology University. Nicole really enjoys going out with her friends and listening to music. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Nicole Zaza from Monaco. And so moving on to number 22 out of 36 of these amazing handlers. So this is 
representative of the Netherlands, Soleil Halkushoven. She's 13 years old. And at home, she lives with 15 Petit Basset Griffon Vendion, a Grand Basset Griffon Vendion, and Wire Fox Terriers. She says she started showing dogs when she was literally a baby. Her mother would take her to the dog shows, and she started showing as soon as she could walk. She says she looks up to her mother and her aunt, and she doesn't know what's going to happen in the future, but one thing she knows is that she wants to be like them when she's older. She says her own dog's at home. She can do lots of tricks with them. And she has two horses, and she loves doing horse riding as well. And she has cats and chickens. Sounds like a very full life in the Netherlands. And she's in secondary school, year eight. Ladies and gentlemen, handling an Airedale Terrier from the Netherlands, Soleil Halkershoven. So we're now on to New Zealand. This is Jacob Ashwell. Lovely to see another male competitor in this competition. We only have three boys in it this year. I think Jacob made quite an impression yesterday in our lovely afternoon tea. But welcome, Jacob. He's 17. So this is his first time in the final. He's handling a pointer at home. He also has English pointers in New Zealand. He's also got three Dalmatians and two Rottweilers. He started showing at the New Zealand Young Kennel Club handling competition with his Dalmatian called Sid when he was about five years old. Well, he did well at five with a Dalmatian, they're strong. <laughs> showing is a family tradition though. He's a third generation dog show handler with his mum, stepdad, and both sets of grandparents showing dogs. His mum tells him that he attended his first show at just weeks old. He's just finished high school, year 12. He loves business studies, economics, and geography. He, likes, he wants to own his own gym, health, and fitness business. So all the way from New Zealand, that's Jacob Ashwell, he's 17. And now we have Norway. Norway is represented by Mimi Indina Nilsson. And she's 17 years old. This is her first time in the International Junior Handling Final. And here is the English Springer Spaniel that she's handling. At home, she has two dogs, an Icelandic sheepdog and a long-haired miniature Daxent. She started showing in junior handling competitions about five years ago. And she's also been involved in blood tracking, so I'm, I'm assuming that's some sort of scent work, and agility with her Daxent. She's in her first year of high school in Norway, and she's studying media and communications. She enjoys English and media subjects. And she says she'd like to become a breeder and work as a journalist. She enjoys mountain hiking, going to the gym, and of course, hanging out with her friends. Representing Norway, Mimi Indina Nielsen.
So here we have Poland. Poland is represented by Zosia Raboy. Zosia is 14 years old. And this is her first time competing at Crufts in this final. She chose to handle a Siberian Husky. At home, she has two Basenjis. She's been handling for three years. She goes to secondary school. She loves maths because in her words, she says maths describes the world. She also likes biology because it helps her understand behavior of dogs. And she hasn't quite decided what she'd like to do when she's older, but she says she'd like to take care of people or animals. I think that sounds like a good career. She usually spends time, lots of time doing her homework, but when she has a little free time, she likes reading a good book or watching an interesting TV series. Well, after this week, she'll have plenty of Channel 4 and More 4 coverage of Crafts to watch. And there's 15 hours of coverage this year broadcast. That is Poland, represented by Zosia Raboy. So we have 10 handlers left. Let's meet Portugal. Portugal is represented by 14-year-old Maria Flores Ribeiro. She made it into last year's final as well. She was here last year. And this year she's decided to show a English Springer Spaniel. At home, she has 10 dogs, five Basset Hounds, three Chihuahuas, and a Golden Retriever. She started showing with th around three years old. She says she remember handling a, a French Bulldog. She says her parents are professional handlers, and she's been going to dog shows ever since, since she was a child with them, and her older brother. You might see him. He won this competition a few years ago with an English Springer, funnily enough. She's in public school and in her ninth year. And her favorite subjects are science and PE. She loves everything concerning animals and she says she loves to exercise. Now this is a new one. She wants to be a sea biologist. I'll have to talk to her after about that. She said she'd like to study and save the sea animals. So off she goes from Portugal. That's Maria Flores Ribeiro.